This exercise was, was incredibly smooth in that we were dealing with 43 organisations, three regulators, over 500 injects. We received back two, over 250 you know, pieces of observation and, and feedback and it just enriches the, the, the exercise in order to ensure that we're kind of you know, improving the resilience of the, of the banking sector. Really a good uh, interactive exercise. Everybody was able to contribute from their expertise and together we had a very good discussion about you know, when, how to manage prices, how to manage them effectively, and most importantly, what are the things that would help us uh, to get more prepared. During an era marked by escalating crises in both severity and frequency, WISE 2023 emerged as a pivotal moment. This documentary delves into the significance of this event as it aimed to fortify the crisis readiness within Hong Kong's vital industries, capturing the urgency and necessity of collective action in the face of mounting challenges. While organizations have been exercising their scenarios, they really do not know where they sit across the board in the industry. The way in which the participants engaged with the exercise and got fully involved interacting with the scenario and the various other participants was truly impressive. Four C strategies alongside the Hong Kong Financial Services Business Continuity Management Forum managed to deliver one of the most interesting, simulated and engaging exercises the sector has ever seen. WISE, a whole industry simulation exercise, is a biannual exercise led by the Hong Kong Financial Services Business Continuity Management Forum, or HKFSBCM. With its start in 2013, WISE now gives organisations an opportunity to exercise their response strategies to potential crisis situations where the whole industry is impacted. WISE is one of the key initiatives of HKFSBCM to ensure that we can bring together the financial services sector under the banner of training and development to stress test our individual and joint crisis response. The HKFSBCM Forum, including systemically important institutions and some of the world's largest banks, is an independent non-profit organisation that brings together BCM professionals to discuss operational risks and industry developments that may impact the financial services sector in Hong Kong. WISE was most recently held in 2019, with the worldwide pandemic putting the exercise on hold in 2021. Coming out of the pandemic, firms had enhanced their resilience through technological investments and upskilled their knowledge base of contingency planning. WISE is a distributed simulation exercise. A distributed simulation exercise is designed to evaluate and test crisis response capabilities across multiple locations, teams or organisations. This type of simulation delivers a real-world crisis in a controlled environment, allowing participants to practice and refine their responses to various severe but plausible scenarios. The distributed aspect refers to the geographical dispersion of participants, often in different physical locations or even different organisations. In a simulation exercise, the crisis management teams, or CMTs, are called together on a pre-announced date and time. What they do not know, however, is the scenario that will unfold. The scenario for WISE 2023 revolves around a cyber attack. It is using a worm and it is delivered by a sophisticated threat actor, in this instance called the Shadow Collective. This group is an eco-hacktivist group who wants to disrupt the financial sector in Hong Kong due to their continued support of the fossil fuels industry. Through so-called injects, which can be situation reports, emails, phone calls, or even newscasts, the CMT is informed of simulated developments of a crisis situation. A simulation team in another location controls these injects. The CMT members will then have to respond live, as if it was real. Given the nature of this exercise, each firm could decide on the extent of their participation. So for some, they played out in real time the actions and decisions of the CMT, and for others, they merely simulated that it had happened, and the parties in exercise control would provide realistic feedback. WISE 2023 was facilitated by 4C Strategies. Their planning started seven months prior to the exercise date set on November 16th. 
During that period, 4C and the HKFSBCM board set up two sprint weeks. There, they and the scenario leads develop the scenario that the exercise will focus on, the first sprint week being in July. Out of why is what I'm trying to get out is one exposure into the workings in Asia Pacific and also how is it going to improve or develop resilience from an operational resilience perspective going forward. The purpose of the sprint week in July was to brief all parties included. Single points of contact, evaluators and scenario leads on the exercise format. How 4C Strategies software Exonaut will be used in planning and delivery, their roles, responsibilities and timelines. But the major task was to develop the scenario for the exercise. The purpose of Sprint Week 1 was not only to promote WISE, but to engage participating organisations for the first time in the development of the industry benchmark, the Crisis Management Capability Maturity Model. This year in WISE, what we are seeing different is the capability maturity model that has been rolled out. And I'm really excited about this because capability maturity model will give them an idea on where they really need to be. So it gives them a roadmap, tells them where they are today, and kind of gives them a good progressive way to build up on their capability. We want to enhance our capability in our business continuity and uh, face scenarios that can impact organization and the industry uh, so that uh, we will be able to understand how best we will cope up any impact and then up and run uh, with minimal impact to our organization. In September, we delivered a whole raft of activity through the week, including scenario validation. We did deliver training for the four different roles for the exercise, and we were able to deliver as a bonus some crisis management training and present the feedback for the capability maturity model we developed for WISE um, and really complete the, that last bit of briefing. Once the scenario leads had created their injects, during the second sprint week, 4C ran a scenario validation workshop this was an opportunity to deconflict each of the firm's specific narratives to ensure that no single firm's injects may derail the overarching scenario, with the feedback from the scenario validation workshop allowing for minor changes, the scenario was established and each of the scenario leads could now focus on ensuring they were familiar with the delivery method for each inject and ensuring the Exonaut timeline was accurate. WISE 2023 was also the first time that operational resilience has been included in the scope of an exercise of this scale. Working in tandem with Hong Kong's financial regulators, operational resilience outcomes were built into the exercise objectives and post-exercise report, and firms were strongly encouraged by regulators and the HKFS BCM board to take on these additional requirements. So one of the pioneering aspects of this exercise is that we were looking at delivering operational resilience outcomes. So as part of that, it's, it's engaging the crisis management teams, educating them, upskilling them to understand how operational resilience expectations will impact their response and the, the requests and requirements from the regulators and how that has changed. And we are the first exercise in the world to deliver this type of um, outcome. So not only are we leading in the industry and leading with our regulators, but we're also leading um, across the world uh, in terms of delivering this type of event. With seven months in the making, two sprint weeks and hundreds of hours in planning, the WISE 2023 exercise was about to start. We've got a rehearsal in the morning with the scenario leads. Uh, so that's the last opportunity for them just to really get familiar with the, the process and the way we run things at 4Cs, uh, to understand what XCON looks like and how that works, because that's new for a lot of people. But this exercise hasn't been run since 2019, and we've had a lot of stuff happen in between. We've had COVID. Obviously, now we're back in four years later, uh, and people, a lot of people have changed position and roles. So this is new to a lot of people. So I'm the project manager for this project. During the exercise, I will be coordinating the remote participants into exercise control. Coordinating exercise control is one of the key components for the delivery of this exercise. 
And the remote participants are going to be really important to make sure that the exercise flows in the way that we intend it to flow. So we have a pre-decided course of events, of course, uh, but on, on top of that, there's going to be quite a lot of um, dynamic and flexible uh, events and incidents going on. So it's really important that everyone is on board with that. So having the 43 organisations in the one room, A, allows for an opportunity for those organisations to interact with each other. Um, but for us, it made managing the exercise a lot easier because we could manage the scenario leads in the room and they were our eyes and ears into each participant, so into each of the banks, into the crisis management team. It's not just in the room the exercise is being controlled. 4C strategies have Exonaut support in several reaches of the world. Brisbane, Australia, London, UK and Stockholm, Sweden. We are very much used to uh, remotely supporting huge exercises. It was not very difficult, but this exercise particularly had many users all over the world. This is the largest exercise I've, I've ever been part of. Yeah, so I worked a lot with Pseudo Media, which for an exercise as sophisticated as WISE 2023 is really important. Um, particularly, so on the social media simulating side, it's really important for organisations to have an idea of the temperature um, in the public sphere, what their customers are experiencing, how people are reacting, um, and it gives them an opportunity to test that response, which is really important. One of the largest simulated exercises of its kind. Thousands of participants all collaborating at one time, bringing together senior leaders, communications teams, regulators, policymakers, and BCM experts in situ. For today's uh, exercise, I thought uh, we did very well. Uh, I think uh, we covered a lot of things, not just the crisis management part, but also uh, we cover areas of uh, operational risk and cyber. Uh, so I think it's uh, a great exercise for uh, all the participant firms. We've had around 40 participants from around, you know, including some people from Hong Kong. They all attended virtually, uh, also some um, crisis members from Singapore. Um, so we found generally the exercise this year to be very different from previous years because people are, um, you know, we can actually adapt uh, the scenario to our own environment. There's a lot of flexibility in the way we built in JAX. At a time when both the severity and frequency of crises is rising, WISE 2023 represented a timely, necessary opportunity to collectively raise the crisis preparedness of Hong Kong's most important industry. The HMA attaches great importance to strengthening the operational resilience of the banking sector. Through active participation in, the, in WISE, both the banks and ourselves have gained useful insights into the areas in our operational resilience framework requiring improvement. We would like to thank the Hong Kong Financial Services Business Continuity Management Forum for helping us to strengthen the collective resilience of our banking sector amid a growingly challenging banking landscape. To find out more about WISE 2023, visit the HKFS BCM website, where you can also find the post-exercise report.